I really like it. What do you think? Oh, I didn't realize you're... Is it for a costume? Excuse me? Well, you're like a drag queen or a transvestite or something, right? What? I, I okay, look, can you just please take the dress off? I don't want you ripping it, and no one else is going to want to wear it after you've had it on. I have other customers to worry about. Real women. It's totally normal to feel good in a new outfit, but she feels this transgender woman is anything but normal and needs to go. Do you ignore this shopping showdown? Speak up for this woman's right to shop wherever she wants? Or side with the sales clerk who says her money is no good here? What would you do? Sir, please leave the store. Did you just call me sir? Bye. Maybe you should shop online where no one knows that you're a whatever. Today, we're shopping at Hazel Boutique in Ramsey, New Jersey. Right away, Ariane lets Jennifer know she's not wanted in the store. Oh, I'm gonna need you to be very careful with those clothes. They're made for women's bodies, and so it might, I just don't want you to tear them or anything. I'm wearing this, I'm buying it. But this customer isn't buying anything Ariane is selling. You look and I'm, excellent in it, by the way. You know it's a man in the women's clothing. First of all, I did not know that. And that doesn't really matter. She looks beautiful in that. It fits her perfectly. And I'm offended by what you're saying. That's not what this town or this store is about at all. I'm very upset by what you're saying. Well, I mean, this is women's yes. boutique. And, she, and she's a woman. She looks fabulous. Doesn't matter about gender. It doesn't matter about size. It doesn't matter about race. It doesn't matter about religion. It doesn't matter about sexuality. She's beautiful. You look fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Time for us to thank her as well. Hi, Matt. Oh my God. How are you? Oh my God. Good. I know who you are. What would you do? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. It's quite the lecture you gave her. People are who they are. And maybe you're not what they are, but you have to appreciate and allow other people to be what they are. And, and you do your thing, and I'll do mine. A new customer is in the boutique. But like, were you born a woman or? You know, I really don't think that's any of your business. And she tries to get Ariane away from Jennifer. This is my size. Yeah. This is fine. You might want to take over the set. She's talking to the store's actual manager, Kim. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Don't get offended by her. I'm just saying that I just don't think it's OK for this you need to see you're in a generation that you should never speak like that to anybody. What's wrong with you? Sir, I just think you're going to rip the clothes. Please don't call me don't. sir, and I'm not going to rip your clothes. These next customers clearly hear the hurtful words. I'm just going to ask, is it for a costume, or are you looking for like a certain no, type of a costume? No, I'm just looking for a dress to wear on a cruise. If you're going on a cruise, I say the lighter one. Let's just go ahead and try that. Absolutely trying. I mean, it's like they don't even want me here. No, 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 no. Sir, can you just please stop bothering our other customers? She, first of all, she's not bothering me. Absolutely not. Yeah. She asked me my opinion, and I gave it to her. She's not bothering me. I think you need to stop with that conversation right now. I think you need to walk away. Absolutely, I think you need to walk away. I'm just, it's a women's boutique, I was just saying. That's OK. But... That's OK. 2017. Right, exactly. Please. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. She stands by, waiting for Ariane to leave Jennifer alone. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Time for us to say hello. Hi. Jeff, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What would you do? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you got in her face. I did. I did. I couldn't. I couldn't stand to see somebody tormented like that in public. 
at all. Your message to people who think like that, sales clerk? Stop thinking like that. That's that's the problem with this world. It's everybody is their own person. If they choose to be whatever they want to be. Girl, yeah, I, I know that. This woman shopping with her niece is so shocked by what she's hearing. Your body type, I guess, is just more, I would peg it as a, a guy, you know. She can't stand to listen any longer. She pauses by the door, contemplating her next move. She leaves. But then she's back. And she heads right for Jennifer. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? I was fine when I came in. Well, I'll, I'll be fine. You'll no, be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be okay. Yeah. Just After checking on Jennifer, she confronts Ariane. You just have to be kind people. I mean, it, yeah. it, it is a women's clothing store. Yeah, it is, but still, if she's saying she's a woman, then she's a woman. Thank you. We roll one last time. I'm so sorry. I just have to ask. Like, no, is okay. it like a costume? Like, you're looking for a costume? It's a woman's dress. I just, I'm just trying to figure out what yeah, you want. I, I, and I'm I know. Just you know what? I know exactly confused. what you're trying to do. I know exactly what you're trying to do. I get panic attacks, and it's kind of giving me a panic attack. I feel really bad for you. I'm no, sorry. You're beautiful, lady. I don't know what to do because do I just. Can I give you a bag, or is this okay? Yeah. Thank you. She shows compassion and sympathy, and embraces a complete stranger. Do you want to look for clothes with me? I would like to do that. Okay. Thank you. She then takes the time to help Jennifer pick out clothes. But when Ariane returns, the customer's compassion turns into action. Don't worry about it. Sir, are you bothering our other customers? Excuse me. Wait, 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 w